I was thinking of a word to describe her as irrepressible. So it means uncontrollable and you can't hold down. Yeah, so um, this is where my first fight took place, actually. I was 15. Um, a group of girls had come to my work and kind of challenged me to a fight, and they said, uh, tomorrow we're meeting, 3 p.m., the Shell Station, Seashell, we're gonna fight, and I right away my stomach sank because I'd never been in a fight before. I had no idea what I was doing. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna go in there and I'm just gonna make sure I hit this person first and and uh, I can't back down, I gotta show up. So we got into a little hair pulling scrap that got broken up right away, but it was that like adrenaline and that overwhelming like sense of having to protect myself and and that feeling that kind of propelled me into looking for martial arts and a way to channel my energy because I realized um, I couldn't do that. Like I couldn't, I didn't want to go into something like that unprepared again if something were to take place. And I also, yeah, I wanted to be more confident with myself. <laughs> In the cage, I fight for my legacy. I accept every challenge in my life. Whole life you have to step in the face a lot of challenge in your life. Sometimes you're gonna be good, sometimes you're gonna be bad, but you know you learn and you have to prepare for be ready because the challenge always will be in your life. I like to fight and I like to have the opportunity to be a world champion in the cage because this is I show my fans how to be a world champion outside the cage in the people lives. You know, I'm very thankful if they have the opportunity to fight for the world title in Bellator. You know, for me, I would like to make history, and always in my career, I try to make history, and if be the only woman hold the four different titles in different organizations, for me, it's be blessed. For me, it's a be thankful, be there, thankful for all my fans. I like to be a fighter, and I would like to be the world champion, because I use this for help and other people outside, for see what's important in your life. Be the champion in people's lives. Um, the, the next fight is going to be incredible. I, I really think um, it's going to bring the best out of Chris. The style that Julia is going to bring is going to bring the, the best out of Chris. She's going to be able to use a lot more tools. She's going to use a lot more fight IQ in terms of landing what she needs to land. And I just think it's going to put, put, you know, produce a, a, an amazing uh, show for the fans. Um, we're not going to see a fight like this in a very long time and it's, it's going to be a great one. Yeah, losing can be humiliating and, and embarrassing. And I was like, I was so frustrated because um, I had so much more to show. So the fight was over in like 40 seconds and I felt like I had to train my butt off and I owed it to all these people to, you know, show what we had trained on and I wasn't able to do that. So it's hard, but um, I think that again is what makes me a champion. It's like. Okay, well, you know what? You can get back in there and you can prove that you're bigger than this, you're bigger than your loss, and uh, yeah, you can learn and, and grow. This kid all never sat down. She ate standing up, you know, she did everything running. So my favorite coaching for Julia was do another lap. The other kids are, are doing soccer drills and Julia's running laps because every time she'd come back, she wouldn't be listening. She'd be talking and, and her energy was such that I had to just make her do another lap. When she started getting into the martial arts, you could see there was, you know, her first coach is 260 pounds and it was like, okay, Julia, hit me harder. You know, um, she was unleashed. And you could, you could see that light in her eyes that just was like, okay, I can, I can really let go here. I, I would have put her into martial arts sooner if I had known how 
incredible it could be for somebody. Yeah. I think that overcoming, you know, people's doubts and this has been a big one for me. Like, and it's my path leading up to this big fight and seeing the comments and hearing people say I'm gonna get my butt kicked. Now it's motivation. Now it drives me. Now it's like, okay, I'll, I'll f show you guys how tough I am. This is perfect timing for me. This is, this is the time where there's no excuses. No, I'm fully well-rounded. I'm the best mixed martial artist in the world and I plan on showcasing that. Come from the south, you don't see me in a fight. If you want to see me, then you know it's on sight. If I don't see you, then you know it's on sight. Yeah, I hit him with the... I hit him with the... So keep your hands up. Uh, when I hit the bell, I go crazy. Uh, give me that belt and pay me. I keep the right hand on safety. I keep putting these gloves on lately. Back in the ring, back in the ring. It's the champion team, champion team, what? And I do that all night. If I see you and you see me, then it's on sight. I hit him with the... I hit him with the thing on sight. Yeah, I hit him with the... I just think uh, Julia is gonna, gonna bring out the best in Chris right now. Um, you know, she's been preparing hard. Uh, she's been preparing long now. Uh, she flew all the way over to Africa to prepare for this fight. Um, and each and every day, it's training and focusing on, on, on the title, on the W. Um, you know, she got out of her comfort zone and that speaks a lot uh, by itself. You know, she could have uh, stayed in California and done her camp, camp there, but she, she came all the way out to Africa and it's a harsh place and ha this harsh place, you know, can produce a lot of diamonds and that's what Chris is gonna, gonna create um, come fight night. I'm here at Bellator, I want to make a history. My plan with Bellator is to be a world champion. A name like Cyborg brings attention to the division. Uh, people are more familiar with her, so, um, you know, she brings a lot more attention, but don't count me out. I've been here for a long time. I'm very, very, very skilled, and I want this more than anyone in the entire world. So um, I'm going to make sure that I come home with that belt. You want to come over to Bellator? Come on over. You're welcome. She said something on Twitter a few years ago that I was scared of her and ran from Invicta, went to Bellator. but. When she signed in with Bellator, it was very important to me that I prove to the world that I'm not afraid and that I'm here to claim my belt against the best in the world. So this is the perfect time for me to face Chris Cyborg in my career because I'm at the absolute best in my career. I've, I'm, I'm here, I'm ready. It's, I'm so well-rounded. I believe in every aspect of my game and I'm here to show it, so I can't wait. I'm here to get that belt and defend that belt most I can. My plan is to be the world champion to continue to do what I love to do, fighting. Everyone kind of knows cyborg fighting style, um, super aggressive, a uh, lot of forward pressure, you know, always looking for the knockout, always looking for the finish. Um, but, you know, I think this time is going to be a bit different, a lot more fight IQ. Um, a lot of uh, the athletes that step in the cage with her know what she, who she is and what she's capable of, and her style speaks uh, louder than, than anything, um, you know, throughout the years. I describe my fight style, I like, I like to be aggressive the whole time and my first thing I want to do is KO my opponent and I do my best for do that, finish the fight soon I can. Yeah, I think that Cyborg uses intimidation and fear on her opponents and a lot of the girls that get in there are broken before the fight even starts. And I think that that is just something that's a tactic of hers. This is war, so you know, all is fair and she uses it and it's helped her along the way, but it's not gonna help her with me. <laughs> okay.